Discord bots can own Discord servers. Now, you probably never realized that was a thing. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a Discord bot to own a server, how to get a Discord bot to create a server, and whether it is dangerous because you may not be able to get the server back. But before we get into that, make sure to go and hit that subscribe button. It only takes a couple of seconds and we're closing in on 100,000 subscribers. We're going to do a huge event once we get there. So go and check you're still subscribed. And if not, go and hit that button. Also make sure to like the video and join my Discord server with the link on screen and to this other server that does big Discord Nitro giveaways that you should totally go and check them out. They've helped me out recently, so go and check them out right now. Anyways, guys, let's get straight into the video. Okay, guys, so I'm over here with Geg, who is a Discord bot developer. You can check out a Discord bot that he works on in the description. It's called Plasma. It's really cool as well, but he's going to help me explain how this all works and what to do. So I'm going to ask him the first question question which is how does this work how do you get a bot to create a server and how do you get a bot to own a server well i use a node module called discord.js which easily helps me interact with discord's api and with using that i was able to create the server through a bot this only works if the bot is it's in under 10 discord servers this is completely allowed through discord so yeah guys so basically it needs to be in under 10 servers and you have to code it to basically work like that now, I'm going to put a paste bin in the description, thanks to Geg, who's basically done this code, which you can try out for yourself on a brand new bot. Now, obviously, you're going to have to create a new bot that's in under 10 servers. You're going to need to obviously know how to do it and all of that. So if you do, have a go. Try it out for yourself. It'd be pretty cool. Now, the next big question is, can you transfer ownership to a bot? Well, let me just show you that. So I'm over here on Customs Magical World, as you can see in the background, and I've gone to the server member section and typed in CMW Mod Mail, which is obviously one of our bots that is custom built for the server. Now, if I go in here and I go, hmm, I want to transfer ownership like you would have for a normal member, there is no button to be able to do that. For example, if I go out here and I go here, it says transfer ownership. So no, you cannot transfer ownership to a bot by Discord's side. Okay, so the final question is, can you actually transfer ownership from a bot account to a user account? Now, I'm going to direct that question at Geg to answer because he obviously knows about this a little bit more than I do. Uh, yeah, so you can get a bot to transfer ownership to you. However, you'll need to code it into the bot. Okay, so yes, a bot can do it, but you need to code it in. And as per usual, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the paste bin in the description, thanks to Geg, who coded it. And you can try it out for yourself, or you can look at the code and see how it works for yourself. Now, I know this video was fairly short, and I know it was uh, not one of my longer videos. But the thing is, is it's pretty cool concepts. I mean, a lot of people don't know that bots can own Discord servers or bots can create Discord servers. And I just wanted to throw it into a small little video. And I didn't want to draw it out because there's no point in doing that. But now you know. You may find it cool. You may want to try it. But there you go, guys. And thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Go and check out Plasma. And... You know, like and give me some feedback. Anyways, I will see you tomorrow for a huge, huge video at 5.30 p.m. GMT. Anyways, have an awesome day and peace out. Spin my brain like a hurricane, destroying everything.